Hi everyone, this is my Lenovo T500 and yesterday after turning on the laptop I noticed the screen starting to uh, flicker intermit intermittently. Um, let's see, I hope, hopefully the camera's picking this up. It's starting to do it more often. It's getting really annoying and then when I turned it on today there seemed to be like a a reddish hue to the screen and um, I think it's a backlight issue I'm starting to do some research now just saw one video that uh, suggesting maybe it was a cable problem but I think it's that driver board for the backlight so I have to figure out um, how to access it how to take this uh, screen apart yeah, do some research, see where that board is, and uh, where I can get one, and how much they cost. So, looks like I'll be attempting a repair on this Lenovo T500. All right. There we go. It's off. Without breaking anything. Good. Success. So let's bring this down. And here's the inverter, which is getting really warm for some reason. Alright, so I have a new inverter board here I found on eBay and uh, I believe it's used but it's supposedly tested and luckily I found one that had all the same uh, part numbers. Uh, the date code is a little older. Uh, let's see, I think this one is 2000 and nine I think and this one is 2007 so hopefully it, it looks identical so hopefully there aren't any other changes so make sure when you um, look for a replacement that it's similar or the same yeah, and this, this is getting hot. You're right here. This is getting hot. So, I noticed that there are CCFLs on eBay from China. Uh, you can get this display here, which is, I think it's uh, 15 point four inches diagonally um, but I don't know it looks like you might have to take this frame off yeah ooh that's hot all right so that was a miss on to eBay I think I'll give that a shot just buy the CCFL, see if that's replaceable. I don't know if you can hear that. It sort of sounds like um, steam coming out of a radiator a little bit. All right, so here's the connector for the CCFL, which I imagine runs along here. And there's a screw here, and if I take this bracket off the side here, which has a couple of uh, three screws, one, two, and three, there's another screw right here on this plate. There's this foil, which might be hiding some screws. I'm wondering if it looks like... I don't know if you can see that. It's 
So I don't know if this just comes out somehow, or you can feed the CCFL in through the edge. I haven't found anything online yet. All right, so I was starting to doubt whether or not this CCFL was even accessible. I couldn't see where these wires were going. I thought I was wondering whether or not they went all the way up here, and maybe the, it was up at the top, or it was somehow built into this, the, the display itself. But I sort of just slowly started working this apart, and there it goes. It came off. So, there it is. That's the part right there. That's the CCFL. You can see there are all these tabs that are holding everything in place. So, where is the... Is that part of it, this metal? Or does that pop out of there? All right, so it looks like I broke this off or less it was it, it looks like it's burnt you can see that there that black color there and this connector I thought I thought there was just a, a plug on each end but this piece of plastic here I think is actually part of now that I'm thinking about the pictures that I've seen on eBay for the, these that was part of the bulb and that just broke off so let's see if it falls out you know maybe with some tweezers but you can see the other end here let's see this is so small this should just slide out now this somehow it's snaps into that groove this is the other okay so here it is it's coming out so this is the CC yeah, so there it is. You can see it's black on this side here. Sort of dark on this end too. So, unfortunately, I broke that off. I was going to see if I could fire this up outside of the can see the black so I'm gonna order one of these off of eBay you know what I did find um, one in New Jersey but it says it's for um, a 15.4 a wide LCD for Dell Vostro 1,500 and 15, 10, 15, 20, 25, 10, but I bet you that's kind of generic um, CCFL in the industry. And for $6.90 or make an offer and $2.99 standard shipping, I would get it Friday, December 6th. So this might be an option. I just asked the question of the seller what the overall length was. Should be about 13 and a half inches. So this might be an option. All right, everyone. So I have received the cold cathode fluorescent uh, lights or lamps. And they were well packed. I bought two. I'm hoping I don't uh, break one of these, but I I bought two, one for backup. So I okay, care. They must they must come from Italy. It says Fragili. Hope you get that joke. But uh, let's go take a look at these. At first, I thought they were the wrong length, but I I forgot that I had. Uh, broken off uh, another piece 
So this went to there, and then that goes on to that. Uh, I was curious to see whether or not this uh, CCFL would light, obviously without the display hooked up, and it does. All right, so I have it together for the most part, except for the front basil here. And it um, seems like I've fixed the problem, although it's not perfect. There is a little bit of a um, bright spot right here where it looks like, I don't know if I didn't seat that um, CCFL bracket completely. I know I slid it in from this side here because I was thinking it needed to um, have the glass and sort of inserted into it. Um, right on top of the uh, the CCFL, but yeah, I was surprised to see a bright spot here. I don't know if the camera is picking that up or not. Uh, maybe if I turn a light off. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. It doesn't seem to be showing on the viewfinder, but it's a some bleeding here, like um, you know something. The bracket isn't seated right, so some of the the light is is shining up through here and but it's not flickering anymore and that's the original inverter board it's working fine so you can see it's all dark here too so it's not perfect um, and then if you look there seems to be some light shining through um, well, that's without the basil on, so I don't know if the basil will cover some of that up. But, yeah, if, if you want to put the effort in, it seems like the cathode, uh, cold cathode fluorescent light is replaceable. Um, it, it is some effort. Uh, this is a T500, so, you know, it's... It's an old computer, so it's not flickering anymore, which would is really annoying. I would not be able to view uh, this laptop with that flickering. So whether or not I'll go in and try to perfect this, I don't know. It's it's like I said, it's a lot of work, but um, yeah. Hope you um, found this video interesting. I uh, gave you enough uh, information if you want to attempt this on your own. And uh, so that's the replacement of the cold cathode fluorescent light on a T500, Lenovo T500. Uh, it was like under $7 for the, for the light, a couple of dollars shipping. And if your inverter is, is uh, bad, those aren't that expensive either. Just make sure to get one that has the exact same uh, part number as the one you're replacing. So, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, and or comment. And see you next video.